It's the two mega stars summer mashup. The awesome iPhone on the Rockstar Metro PCS Network. Get the iPhone you've always wanted for zero dollars, so you can jam without limits. It's a hit. Get an iPhone SE on us when you switch. Metro PCS. Coverage not available in some areas, plus sales tax and $10 activation fee. Requires port of number not currently active on T-Mobile Network or on Metro PCS in past 90 days to an unlimited LTE plan. See store for details and terms and conditions. Blog Talk Radio. Unmarket Your Business, the podcast. Born out of the need to share strategies and techniques that really work to market your business. Think yellow page ads and cold calls are your only choices? That's so last century. You're about to learn tested, tried and true marketing techniques you can apply and master. Ones that feel authentic instead of salesy. Strategies that are true to who you are and how you want to present yourself to your ideal clients. Let's join our host, Carol Joyce Dunlop, in the studio now and allow business success to move forward. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I am your hostess with the most Dunlop, the online wealth strategist, and also Amazon number one international best-selling author from book, Unmarket Your Business. So I hope you're doing well this Thursday after Labor Day, this first, I think it's the first Thursday, first week anyway, of the end of the the last quarter in the year, the time that we're going to push forward and do all all this awesome stuff that we need to be doing. (laughs) To start with, I have to say that the enemy is trying to stop forward progress and I'm not going to let it happen because I was trying to get into the show and the thing would not let me log on it was saying my pen wasn't right my this wasn't that I know I have my guest who's on Rhonda who has been holding and being so patient but I'm telling you I'm not let that happen because the enemy will not win (coughs) will not win at all and I know that um, Rhonda is having a little bit of congestion issues so we're just got what we're going to do right now and I'll uh, a prayer Rhonda are you there you I'm here me? I can hear you can you hear me awesome. I can hear you I can hear you so we're, we're just because I need to woo I things are happening and I don't like it for a second thank you for for you today on in uh, in this moment and help others to do what they need to do to make their business successful. Lord, we know that you know everything that is going on, everything that is about to happen and that you are in full control. So we just ask God that you bless us, that you bless me as the host and Rhonda as the guest, so that her congestion her congestion yeah. can go away. And that she can speak clearly and not be interrupted because, as we all know, things happen and things get in the way, things get stopped, but we're not going to allow this to stop. We are hashtag moving forward. So thank you, God, for all your many, many blessings. Yes. Thank you for thank everyone you, who's in, within the sound of my voice, our voices right now, because they will be blessed with this information. Thank you and amen. Amen. All right. All right. Now, we're ready, right? (laughs) We are ready. Girl, I don't think I've ever started a show like that, but I felt like I really, really had to this time because things were just happening. And I I said, I'm not going to allow this. We're going to get this message out there. But before we do, I have a message from a sponsor. Uh, I want to get this out there because if I don't, my sponsor will be like, what happened? (laughs) <laughs> uh-huh. so I want to make sure you all meet me meet me in the Poconos in September for the Lift Conference 20. This is the premier conference for faith-based women in business and ministry, providing the tools to take their businesses to the next level. What can you expect? Praise and worship to begin each day, confirming our foundation in God. 
speakers who are dominating in their field of expertise ready to pour into you and two days of power-packed information you can implement in your business and ministry right away, plus a platinum happy day like no other. Get all the information you need to meet me in the Poconos by going to www.liftcon2018.com. That's liftcon2018.com. Okay, so now we are on with our programming of the day. I've got a very special, awesome, super-duper guest waiting, Rhonda Hudgens of TLM beyond what I like to call a professional networker and a super-duper connector of people who need to know each other. Because I think Rhonda and I met through networking, online networking, as a matter of fact. We're in several different groups together. I'm actually a part of her um, upcoming event that she's going to tell us more about. And even though I'm not going to be able to be there in person, I'm going to be there in spirit and probably have some very good uh, prizes that I'm going to give away, you know, in my absence. So without any without any further ado, Rhonda Hudgens, how you doing, girlfriend? I am doing well, doing well. God is good, regardless of what the circumstances may look like. Because the enemy is still trying his Amen. best, because I'm getting <laughs> about every third word you're saying. But because I know kind of what you're saying already, it's okay, it's cool, God's got this. But, um, yeah, it's it's just meeting you has been one of the blessings in my life, Carol. Let me go ahead and say that and just get the nice things out of, out of the way before we get down to business. Um, we did meet online, and this leads into the networking talk. So you can tell me when to hush and if you want me and when you want me to go on. But um, we were in several groups together, as Carol said, and Carol, you had made the comment on a post one day that you were looking for speaking, more speaking engagements. And I'm just that bold Mm -hmm. person who will step out and say, hey, I got you. So I sent you a message and I PM'd you and I said, look, this is what I've got for you. This is what you can do. It doesn't pay, but you get like 45 minutes. And you get to eat, and you get to meet with people, and you get to network. And from the beginning, now, if you go back and you think about that July 2016 day, from the beginning of us actually getting to connect in person, the enemy has tried to stop that. You had car trouble that day. Wow. You had to hire Lyft Mm -hmm. um, or Uber One to come get you. So, you know, the enemy has been really at work to keep me and you apart from doing what God has for us from the beginning. And it has just been such, it's, we took our networking offline into person. We fought the adversary and we won because he's already a defeated Mm -hmm. foe. So now that I put it out there because everyone that knows me knows this and now for those that are just learning who I am, I am unapologetically Christian. And if that bothers someone, then they don't need to be in my circle. I'm just, I'm just there with that. If it bothers you, then you don't Amen. need to be in my circle. <laughs> and um, so we did, and that really ties into. Um, you've asked me to talk about three, and then you know it's hard. You know how hard it is for me to narrow networking down to three tips. Do you have any idea right, how yeah. hard that really is for me? I mean, that would be like I asking know, the apostles. But we need it. Yes, I know. But that's like asking the Apostle Paul, give me three verses that you wrote that's the most important. Um, <laughs> but any of my number one thing is you, you actually networking. This is This is very important. As important as meeting people online may be, you've got to get offline. Absolutely. You've got to go meet face-to-face. You've got to do live networking, face-to-face networking. You can. There's a lot of groups now that are doing the online thing. And number one, personally, I have a, I, unless it's a group that I'm really familiar with and I know the quality of the people that will be there, I have a real issue with paying my hard-earned money to network online. Yeah. But I don't have a problem with paying my hard-earned money to network with the right people 
face to face. And so there, there's a two parts of this. There's part A and part B to getting out of the store, out of the home office, out of the regular office, and going out and networking face to face in person. The two parts of that is you've got to get out there and do it. The second part of that is don't keep looking for free because free mm. is not always free. Because at right. the end of the day, someone is fully reimbursing each expense. Free is not mm-hmm. really free. It takes your time. It takes your gas. It takes your energy. And you may be able to get things back, but you can never get that time back. And if you went only because it was free and it didn't, it wasn't your target audience, it wasn't people you could refer, it wasn't people that could refer you, and it was a two-hour event, and your time's worth $100, and it took you 30 minutes to get there and 30 minutes to get back to wherever, you just spent $300 in time that you will never get back. Oh, wow. Wow. (laughs) Exactly. People don't think about that, not counting the gas and the wear and tear on your vehicle. And maybe the wear and tear on your nerves if you're in Atlanta like we are and they're sitting in traffic for 30 minutes one way. (laughs) Yes, so Steve, there's there's a true cost to free, especially if free isn't giving you anything. I have a friend and a colleague who has supported a particular free weekly gathering since 2008. In 2016, we sat down and we did the math, and she undervalues her time. But the math that we did was that in the years that she had been supporting this organization for eight years weekly, approximately $16,000 of time value. Goodness. For less wow. than two hundred dollars worth of business. Wow! So if we look at her, that, and she that, only that valued her time perspective. Mm-hmm. Yes, that ma'am, it does. And she only valued her time at fifteen dollars an hour. Most of us know our time is much more valuable than that. Right. I don't right. have sixteen thousand dollars worth of my time to go where I make less than $200. And that's just in orders. That's not in profit. Now, we're not talking about profit. Mm -hmm. So if we did profit Mm -hmm. of that in eight years, $16,000 of time investment, but only approximately $50 to $75 in profit. Wow. Wow. That's That's a drop of my time on things. Yeah, yes, it, yes, it, it is. It is. Drop, um, drop the mic, smash it. Drop, drop the, mic, the, smash mic. the mic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you, well, and this comes back to a networking event that you and I were both at. We were at the last XC that Bonnie Ross Parker, the founder of Experience Connections, hosted. And you met Tammy Winston there. Tammy is starting her XC in the West Nashville area. And we've had to postpone it three times. And what she keeps running up against, and this brings back to the free thing, is everyone goes, well, I do meet up for my networking and it's free. Why should I pay you? But that goes back to that example. What are you getting out of it? Because free really isn't free. That same person Mm. spent $20, rode with me, went to an Experience Connections meeting in Hiram, met Bonnie, and got a $200 order. Just out of one time, right? One time. Spent $20, $200 order, Mm. and as much profit from that $120 as the 16000 in time she had spent over eight years. Free oh is not free. Yeah, so that, that's number one. Don't go looking for free. Don't be so cheap that you, and I mean that exactly the way that sounds, don't be so cheap that you're looking for free. Give up that Starbucks, <laughs> brew your own coffee, buy your own coffee pot, brew your own coffee, take your lunch, Put set aside in your marketing budget because we're talking about marketing. Networking right. is marketing. So set aside in your marketing budget the money, even if you have to take your lunch once a week and give up your Starbucks. 
so you can actually oh, yeah. go to to the networking meetings and events that have your target market, your demographic. If you are a plumber, you probably do not need to go to the event that is pretty much for financial people. But you need to get your big foot in that door for that real estate networking. Do your due diligence. Here's number two, due diligence. Do your due diligence. Find out where your demographic is, where your target market is at. You can go, and back to Atlanta, you can go broke in less than six months networking in Atlanta if you do not do so strategically and intentionally, if you do not have a strategic plan for your networking, if you don't understand that your networking is part of your marketing and you're not going out there to sell. So that's the whole thing. Do your, do your due diligence, sit down and right. make out that marketing strategy. If you are networking strategy, cause it is part of your marketing. And if you don't know where to start, well, you know, I'm a networking strategist. I can help you put that plan together. So when you go to circle of firms, you know, it's the event for you. When you go to the big event, you know, your demographic is there. When you attend um, Celebrating Connections 2018, you'll know that's where you should be at because that's your demographic is going to be in those places. You may not always be able to find out exactly who's going to be there, but if you will ask a host or an organizer, 99 times out of 100, they're going to tell you what the overall demographic of that event is. And we're going to Pause between number two and number three because I'm going to get a drink of water or we're going to hear about that congestion that you talked about. Well, this is a great time to pause because now we're going to hear from our sponsors. So let's get to this. As I mentioned before, coming up at the end of this month, end of September, is the um, Lyft Conference in Pocono. So I want to make sure that you're there. Meet me in the Poconos at the Lyft Conference in 2018. Remember, it's the premier conference for faith-based women in business and ministry, providing the tools and strategies to take their businesses to the next level. And you can expect praise and worship, and it was really fantastic last year. They're going to do it again this year. Speakers who are dominating in their field of expertise, ready to pour into you, Two days of power-packed information you can implement in your business and ministry right away, plus the Platinum VIP Day like no other. And that you can get all that information, plus get your tickets at www.liftcon2018.com. Now, today's podcast was sponsored or is sponsored by the Closing Academy. Now that you have marketed your business, it is now time to close the sale. The Closing Academy teaches entrepreneurs how to ask for the sale. We believe that sales is a teachable skill. Download your free guide, The Top Selling Secrets for People That Hate to Sell, at www.theclosingacademy.com. So go on there and get your get your guide. I've got to go get mine. I have not gotten mine yet. I don't hate to sell, but always learn more about selling. Okay, Ron, are you good? We ready to continue? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. We've got some water going over here. I make sure I had a big cup of water sitting by. And um, we we we've uh, and and to backtrack, we covered that we need to make a human connection, a face to face connection. Mm-hmm. We've covered that that we we need to really get out there. And um, I was reading um, the there's an article by the founder of um. Born Creative, which is an all-inclusive company that does design. They take your idea very much like what CSI does. And the founder of that is Jennifer Born. And basically her thing on the not doing free is um, because people say, well, I can't afford live events. I like the way she put it. She just very bluntly says it's an excuse. So we've covered using the excuse of free because free is really not free. And now let's go into you've, okay, you've gone out there, you, you've you found your demographic, you've gone to those networking events, you've met those people, you've got that information. 
Now what are you going to do? Well, number one, you've got to build a relationship. But to build a relationship, there, there's, and this is where, and even I myself, I've been called, you call me a, a, net, a professional networker, a networking expert. Um, Carol Neal, who is now the CEO of Experience Connections, calls me the networking ninja. But this is one of my shortcomings. <laughs> and I'm just going, I'm confessing my, my networking sins. On podcast, it will forever be out there. This is the one that I think people may hate this as much or more than public speaking. Follow up. What? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, my God. Thinking. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the follow up. Yeah. I mean, it is just mm-hmm. if you go out there and you make those connections, because now, number one, we're not out there spraying business cards. We're out there making connections. We're going to where right. our demographic is. We're, we're connecting with our demographic. We had conversations with these people. Now we need to follow up with these people. And we don't need to wait <clears throat> three or four weeks down the road. Um, we need to do it <laughs> preferably not more than 72 hours. Right. 48, yep. 36 to 48 hours it is more acceptable. 72 mm-hmm. hours is just a, on a local basis is the limit. Now, if you were at an event, let's say we're here in Atlanta and we go to California for um, an RV Robertson event. And we're there for a couple of extra days. Okay, we've probably got a little slide and we can get away with a week on that. But we still don't ever need to let more than a week go by because that would be like filling up your car because you're going to take a trip and it's sitting in your driveway, but you haven't decided where you're going yet. And a month later, your car's still sitting there with a full tank of gas and you haven't decided <laughs> on your destination yet. <laughs> oh my God, that is too funny. That is hilarious. I love talking with you all the time, Ron. You give the best examples but you're absolutely right and then by 72 hours you think 72 hours that's three days right so if you go to a networking meeting on a monday tuesday wednesday thursday do you know what can happen inside of 72 hours people forget they don't even remember that they met you for for one thing and then you've got to reintroduce yourself re-get that energy going and people they just don't have time for all that they've moved on to something else and you may have lost a sale or Worse, a good relationship that you can to other sales owners are being in, introduced because Rhonda and I have I don't think we've actually quote unquote done business with each other, but we the central part of each of us doing business, and I've introduced her to people, she's introduced me to people, and we've gone on and 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 done other things because of who we know i mean. I went to um, Celebrating Connections last year where I met Aurea McGarry. I met several other people who I have done business with since. I mean, Rhonda and I stay connected. We're all, I mean, and she keeps me on my toes. I have to let you know. She does keep me on my toes. And so you need people like that in your life. But if I had never reached out with that one thing that I said, I want to get my speaking going, I never knew it would lead to this whole thing. So... I'm just saying. I'm just putting that out there for people. And well, I was I was just doing. I like to go through and see what other people have to say about networking. And you can find some. I'm gonna be honest. People can go to entrepreneur. dot com online or Forbes. dot com online. They can find a lot of excellent, excellent articles. Um, and Jacqueline Whitmore is one of the contributors for entre, um, entrepreneur. dot com. And then an article that she wrote, and I believe this has been um, about five years, three years ago, three years ago. Um, mm-hmm. One of the things that she said, her number one on her list of seven things, her number one thing was follow up immediately. And I love the way she said this. She says, don't wait a week or longer to make the first contact. Your new connection may vaguely remember you. This is exactly what you just said, Carol. But the impact of your meeting will have dramatically diminished. Instead, reach out the next day with a short email. Say something like, it was a pleasure speaking with you at yesterday's event. I'd love to meet for coffee next week if you're available or whatever works for you, however you do what you do. But she's saying do that the next day, which goes right along with what you said. You know, know, 
they in a week they they forgotten you. I mean, if yeah. you really didn't just make a huge connection with someone, that three days is your cutoff limit. Most experts are going to tell you 42 hours. You can, you know, if it's a Saturday, a Friday night, you can probably get away with Monday or Tuesday. But truthfully, try to make it in that first 48 hours. And if you can do the first 24 hours, you're magic. You've created magic. And another thing is don't make it that stale mass email from your CRM that everyone gets because right. they can tell by the formatting that, that that's exactly what you did. You went in and you plugged in all the email addresses from all the business cards at that event and you, you went and you told them, you know, you told everybody the same thing. And you didn't have the same conversation right. with everyone because every and that's what makes networking so special. Back again to Jennifer Bourne. She started her business at 25 years old, scared to death, didn't have a dollar to her name, built her business. If you go to their website, built her business on networking. Um, yeah, I mean, you can do honestly, it. I did. I built my business on that. I started my business that I now have to have a networking organization that was a true community. And that's how Metro ATL and beyond came along. Right. Which all of that is how between all the people I met, I met Danella Burnett. And Mm -hmm. I was at a book launch and I said to Danella, and Danella was there as well in November of 2016, and I said, if I could afford you, you would be my event planner for my first conference. She goes, well, you can afford me because we'll make the numbers work. And we wow. did Celebrating Connections last year, which you mentioned that you were in. So I hope it's okay that I go ahead and segue into this, or do we have a sponsor we need to take care of first? No, I want you to go. Out. Let's talk. Let's talk about it because we're coming down to the end of the show. Yeah, we are. So, um, we went ahead last year. It was because all of our events, as you know, from speaking at one of my lunch and learns, that we may be bringing back next year. I'm balancing that act out to see if that's going to be feasible for me. But right. um, it used to be Metro ATL and Beyond presents. So last year it was Metro ATL and Beyond presents a celebration of networking and results. This year, mm-hmm. Danella and Sean Thomas, the entree from you, her, got together, put their heads together, and they shortened that to celebrating connections. Of course, this year it's 2018. Next year it'll be 2019. So here's the thing. Right. I love that. I love that because <laughs> it can yep. stay celebrating connections forever. I can change right. everything I do, but the event will still be celebrating connections. We can pass it on to someone else, and Danella and I go in different directions, and it can still be celebrating connections. And, it, and yep. it's, it's a very different networking event. Um, I was telling um, someone last night who's going to be one of the panelists, Lori Lyons, um, with Ignite Marketing, speaking of marketing, let me throw her out there, because she's oh. going to be one of our panelists oh, yeah, no, at this year's yeah. event. Yeah, you've met Lori. Lori's awesome. Lori's just awesome. And yep. I was telling her last <laughs> night, the reason we have the VIP package for our event that is so unique is because somebody went and looked at the hotel without her event planner, and without knowing what she was doing, <laughs> committed to too many hotel rooms. Mm, but she kind of looks Ooh, like okay. me. Yeah, she does. Mm. And we had to somehow cover those hotel rooms. And Danella says, let's do this. So we created a VIP package that no one else has. With our VIP package for Celebrating Connections, you either get to bring a second person with you at the VIP level. That means you get to go to the networking breakfast. You get special seating. You get a little bit more in your gift bag. You get a few extra things because we we want you, your VIP, we want you to feel some kind of way. Or you get your hotel room. When was the last time you went to an event 
that just because you bought a VIP ticket, yes, you get to eat over here with a select group of people, or you get to meet somebody right. over here, but they included your hotel room. Not, not I, any that nobody, I know of. <laughs> nobody does that. Right. So this year's Celebrating Connections 2018 is at the end of the month, September 28th and 29th. We will kick off at 1 p.m. on Friday afternoon. We will have speakers on Friday afternoon. We will take a break for you to network and shop with the vendors, and that will segue into our 7 to 9 meet and greet for all the people that are coming we will start bright and early on Saturday morning at 8 p.m. with a VIP-only breakfast. And from 8 to 9, you get to smooth with the panelists and shop with the vendors. Oh. The only non-VIPs that will be at that breakfast will be those vendors who just bought a regular vendor ticket. We do not exclude them. They get to be there as well because we want them to man their tables. We want that to be a time that the VIPs can shop with the vendors, network with no other interruptions. And then we will start at 9 a.m. with some really, really great um, speakers. Uh, Amanda Evans, Suzanne Evans' sister, will be speaking. Her topic will be sales. This year, our MC, last year was Sean Thomas, the entree to New Her. This year's MC is Coach Caitlin. Also known as Misery's Atlanta 2018, Caitlin Bryan. She will be our beautiful MC, and she will also be speaking. She is a life coach, so she will also be speaking for us. Danella will be speaking as well about networking and event, live events, and how that works together. So that goes back to what we've talked about in point, you know, number two, getting up, getting out of the office, and getting out there. We're going to touch on that and have that in uh, Celebrating Connections 2018. And uh, I will be speaking. That subject topic is still a secret. And, and Carol will <laughs> well enough to know exactly what that means. And um, mo- some of you may uh, be able to catch that one too, but it, it'll be powerful. It, it will be right. on time. It will be something that the people need to hear. And our panelists, we, we've got one more spot to fill on the panel, but at this time we have Corey Moore, the Networking King, founder of Pro Networker. Keith Ivey, who also has, he does networking. He has an organization. He doesn't do his classes right now. He's working with, I can't think of the name off the top of my head, the organization he's working with right now and really building that. It's an exclusive networking gig that he's working right now. We will have Dottie Bailey, the owner of Bailey's Bartending. And Lore, as I said, Lori Lines with Ignite Marketing, who built her business on networking. Dottie built her business on networking. And so we've got one more spot that I'm looking to secure up hopefully by midweek next week. So they awesome. can go tell to. Everybody. There you go. go That's ahead. what I was going to say. How do we get there? How do we get all this information? <laughs> How do we get there? You get all this awesome information. You get well, number one, you got to get registered. And you go right. to tiny you, tinyurl.com, Metro ATL Connections 2018. Do I one need to time. spell that? Tiny no, URL. Say it, say it one more time. Okay. Tinyurl.com, Metro ATL Connections. 2018. Awesome. I've also have this in the sh- description for the show. So if anyone says, "Oh my God, I can't remember all of that," just go to the, you know, you're listening or you're watching or you're downloading. Just go to the link that I put in the description, and you can click on it right there and get your ticket so you, so that you can be in the know in the house. When Rhonda does, and I'm going to be giving away some books, some of my number one best-selling books at this event as door prizes. I haven't told Rhonda yet because I think she kind of figured that anyway, but I will have them to her. So you, if you're in the house, you can get a free book. And the book, 
I know, and the book is actually teaching you seven, not seven, but ten strategies that you can use right now, put in your business right away to start making money. Rhonda, thank you so much for joining me today, for being a part of this. I know it was a stretch because you're, you know, the cold, the the enemy, all that, but we got through it. We got this information out there, and I want to thank you so much because this is much needed. You're, you're I think your experience and your knowledge about networking is unparalleled. So it, it's just going to be awesome. I hate that I'm going to miss the event this year, but, hey, things happen sometime. I, this girl is in demand, I'm telling you. <laughs> but uh, that, well, next that's a year, good thing. Be, that is a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. I feel so good about that. But it we're going to be there. It is a good thing. People there. Thing. Yep. And well, I definitely get us some people there. Y'all need to join us. And, if, and another way, if they have any questions, I make this really, really easy. Um, they can find me on most social media platforms at Rhonda R. Hudgens. It's just that simple. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn, um, they're all Rhonda R. Hudgens. It's that easy to find me. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Now, you feel better. We're going to close you this too. out. And remember, thank you so much. And thank you for coming on. We're going to close this now, remember, everyone, today's podcast was sponsored by the Closing Academy. Now that you've marketed your business, it's now time to close sale. The entrepreneur is how to ask for the sale. We believe that sales is a teachable skill. Download your free guide, Top 10 Selling Secrets for People That Hate to Sell, at www.theclosingacademy.com. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Rhonda. Everyone, have a great day day rest of the week an awesome weekend we will see you again next week bye bye for now bye thanks for listening we truly appreciate it for information about guests products or services that were mentioned in this episode log on to our website at www.csicorporation.com slash unmarketing to learn more get a glimpse of our upcoming schedule and join the unmarketing nation of entrepreneurs who are using marketing techniques that work right now. Until next time, keep moving forward. It's the two megastars summer mashup, the awesome iPhone. On the Rockstar Metro PCS Network. Get the iPhone you've always wanted for zero dollars, so you can jam without limits. It's a hit. Get an iPhone SE on us when you switch. Metro PCS. Coverage not available in some areas, plus sales tax and $10 activation fee. Requires port of number not currently active on T-Mobile Network or on Metro PCS in past 90 days to an unlimited LTE plan. See store for details and terms and conditions. It's the two megastars summer mashup. The awesome iPhone. On the Rockstar Metro PCS Network. Get the iPhone you've always wanted for zero dollars, so you can jam without limits. It's a hit. Get an iPhone SE on us when you switch. Metro PCS. Coverage not available in some areas, plus sales tax and $10 activation fee. Requires port of number not currently active on T-Mobile Network or on Metro PCS in past 90 days to an unlimited LTE plan. See store for details and terms and conditions.